software. So when I go to the uh, sales module, but it's, it is also under the purchasing, but we use it the most under the sales module, um, it is for invoicing. So a very common scenario is that uh, you have all of your shipments for the day, right? So you have a lot of sales orders, you do the picking process, you do the shipping process. Now you have a lot of open deliveries ready to be built, ready to be invoiced to your customers. So instead of going one by one, that you could just do it, go open the delivery, copy to your invoice. The other option is to come here under the document generation wizard. So you can create this document generation wizard and it is not only for billing. Let me just show you, it is a few steps. So here is the next. I already had this one, it is uh, from you know, last modified, yes. Uh, it was modified this morning because I was just testing for this session, um, but it was created like three years ago. You can create another one and you can just give it the name that is more uh, significant for you. So it is step two of eight. In this case, my target document is AR invoice, but you have all of these options, okay? So basically this one, you could create draft documents. In that case, you are not posting the invoice uh, to the system, not yet. You, you will have like draft documents that you maybe would like to review before actually posting those, right? Um, the posting day, that is the, as of today, that is by default, that, that's gonna be the day for my invoices. Uh, you could just define the series if you want to, you have more than one series, the uh, number in series, items or services. Um, next. In this case, what are the document types? These are like the base documents. So I'm using the open deliveries, but uh, just keep in mind, you could just do it for sales orders, any of those, or all of those sales quotations under, that, uh, under certain criteria, you could just convert the sales quotation into the actual sales orders. But anyway, in this case, we're doing well for the deliveries. Now, the posting date here, it says from July 1st uh, up until today, July 1st, 2020. Uh, but what's going to be the delivery date? In this case, if you do this on a daily basis, you could say, okay, I want to invoice the deliveries for today. So in that case, I could just put the T for today up until T for today, okay? Uh, just, just in case. I can use any key uh, from my keyboard to pull the current date. I could use the M from, from Marisa, right? Uh, because TIFF could be for today or for tomorrow, but anyway, any key would do it. Um, so let's say that you could just do that, or let's say, okay, I want to build invoices from November 1st, deliveries, I'm sorry, from November 1st up until today. So one up until now. Same thing, you could expand criteria here. You, if you have your certifying fields or your business partner reference uh, number, or let's say by a document number, a range, you could use that one as well. Let me just remove this one, I don't need it. Um, sort by document number and sending the sort, the sending, and you have all of these fields as well. Then next, you can consolidate by ship to address, let's say. In this case, I say no consolidation. So every single delivery will create one single invoice, right? So the next step, it will be, uh, in this case, when I come back and I say add customers, I can say, bring everything, all my customers. So even if you have the whole list of customers, it will apply only to the deliveries that complies with the criteria based on the dates, okay? But that's, that is like the standard the first time that you do it. But if not, you can just click in the clear table, add customers, you can select the customer from based on the code or by the customer group. Let's say that I'm using for these large accounts, Oh no, I say large accounts, okay. So I have all of this, right? If I click in here, I'm selecting all of them, but let's say that I only want to do for um, Maxitex, um, this ADA technologies, I know that is with a cor um, Euro currency, so I don't want to deal with that right now. Let me just do it for Machine Corporation and Maxitech. And next. So what's gonna happen if I'm missing data? Um, I can skip to the next document, skip to the next customer, or ask for user confirmation. Let's say that I'm, I have a customer, I haven't decided what is the tax code. In that case, a skip to the next customer would make sense. By default, you will have all of this, like skip to next document, okay? Next. 
here are the three options. The first time that you do it, you can just execute. It means you are not saving the parameters or you can save the parameters and execute or just save the parameters and exit. So you are not executing anything. In my case, I will say save parameter set and execute, okay? So my selection criteria will be saved for the next time that I'm using this uh, document generation wizard. And I am in a step seven of eight. So let's go to next. Running this wizard, create some documents. Um, do I want to continue? And I will say, yes, look, I don't know if you know, but uh, do you notice that there is like a yellow bar just next to the bottom, no. It means that if I press my enter key, I'm pressing this no. So anytime that you have that yellow uh, next to the yes, you could just use the cursor or just the enter key, okay? So basically this wizard starts uh, running and uh, is creating a few invoices. So basically documents awaiting approval were excluded. The document generation wizard started and then it was created invoices number 1187 up until 1192 and document generation wizard completed. Um, the system keeps the log about the date and the time, okay? So if I go to the invoice 1192, Control F and 1192. So this is the actual invoice, right? And this is based on sales quotation, based on sales order, based on deliveries. So here you have multiple invoices by, uh, using the document generation wizard. I mean, I can just go back to the pillars that were created. So all of them are there. So I created a few invoices just uh, with a few clicks. So the next time that I want to run this one, uh, the selection criteria is already saved. So I don't need to do it again, okay? Just use the, the uh, criteria, let's say for the dates to filter the dates and that's it, okay? Hopefully you can use this uh, feature that we are using now in consensus actually. <laughs> 